do 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 We're hoping this is live because if it's not, then we're going to be talking to ourselves. And let me see. Yes, we're live. Okay, I don't know if we have chat. And private chat, let's go. Nope, I haven't figured out the chat yet. Okay, so we'll be doing this. Hey, everybody. <laughs> okay, this is getting over the hump. As you can see, I don't know which side you're on, but for me, he's right there, there, right there, there. Okay. <laughs> he's over there somewhere. But as you can see, this is not George. No. No, no. George is nice. George, George is, in the is on the road. It's going to take him an hour and a half to get home. So oh, hopefully, wow. Yeah. Oh, duty. We got eight people watching already. Seven. Well, eight, I don't know. People are going. Oh, oh George is not there. Let's go away now. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Like, oh no, it's Santa. Let's get get out of here. Go over and hide. Everybody knows what this is. Hopefully, if you don't, too bad. This is getting over the hump. This is Wednesday. This is a day where you've had two days before you that are from hell, and two days still to go before the lovely weekend, where people are going on uh, vacation and weekends off and going on events and having a grand old time so this is the day that we may we put aside to have good news everything is positive good news so my guest host co-host whatever <laughs> i'm gonna sort of i'm gonna switch the pictures around so it works easier but it's jay lynch none other than the sexiest paranormal redneck sexiest Stop. person next to bodine oh did y'all see Bodine? <laughs> they look Bodine up on the weekend. How rude. Okay, if you, nobody knows who Bodine is, Bodine is the one and only uh, Bigfoot in overalls. He's got bibs, too. Damn, he's so he's, he's a tough guy, man. He's he's absolutely crazy. You got to watch him. He's getting me in a lot of trouble. But, you know, it's funny. You always seem to disappear when Bodine comes around because you just can't stand to be in his light. He just signs like, meh. You know, well, there's your wife pays more attention to Bodine than she does to you at that moment in time. Yeah, did you see that second video with Bo the first video that Bodine was ever in? He was laid out on the couch or the chairs with my wife. I'm mean, like, mm -hmm. and then I turned around and had to go deal with the uh, hotel staff. So, you know, somebody's <laughs> got to deal with all the that stuff with it. And Jason, being that he's in police force, you know, he's got to kind of keep the straight and narrow. So, that's my dad. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, okay, hang on a second. I think, oh, I think we've got chat. There we go. Hey, Kathleen. Okay, I think we've got chat. I'm not sure. We'll figure oh, it out. I'll just click live comments and I see it. There you go. Don't let me comment. But see, this, this is good. This is good. Well, it's a it's a positive. We need to at least at some point check out whether Facebook has stopped being an asshat and allows me to put links in there. You didn't see that? Facebook. Okay, Facebook. I'm going to be, be I'm rude. going to be one negative of the day. Okay, of this show. Yesterday, as always, I come into your shows and I am the unofficial official moderator of the show and I drop in links for everything that I can get. Every time we say something, I try and drop in a link. If it's ASY, um, paranormal, it's you guys, whoever's on your show, whatever. But yesterday, Facebook has decided not to allow me to put in certain links. They tell me that it's spam. And that led to a whole other conversation that you guys had on the air. Oh, I got heart. Ooh, ha. Uh, uh, people be rude on air. People want to know about Tuesday. spam. Y'all got to go watch during a pot yesterday's show. There'll be a link somewhere. It was freaking yeah. stuff. I'm sorry, but the best part about the whole show was Jason and Joe's faces when they want to vomit. Yeah. I was pissed. Yeah, that, I, I, I'm realizing that my, my partners in crime have a little bit of a weak stomach on certain things. That's kind of, which makes it amusing I, for me. I seriously thought Joe was actually, when he would go out of camera shot, I thought he was tossing his cookies. I said, somebody in the chat room said something about, this is your bucket list of food. I and I posted, yeah, the bucket list is being used to toss their cookies. In. Yeah, it was, it's, it's, uh, and, and, and you know, the sad thing about it is that if we ever get the chance to get together again and get these items, we will do this to one another. What's oh, up, yeah. Jason? He popped in the chat room. Uh oh, speak of the devil and does he appear? Yep. Hey, trouble has it There's my buddy. There's my brother. <laughs> There's well, my other troublemaker. Him. I get to torture him at the end of the month. He's on my show, Conversation with Friends. Heck yeah. He'd be doing He's a good one to have a conversation with. There you go. He's That's actually the brains well. behind the thing that we do. No, no, no. No, no. You, he is not the brains. You guys are the brawn. The girls are the beauty. 
and Brian's the brains. <laughs> Jason's the brains of it all. No, trust no, no. me. Has oh, to be LED Brian, he still hasn't said yes to come on my show, or he has, but he hasn't. So I gotta, you know, suck up somehow. <laughs> <laughs> so he's nah, I, Brian does a good job. Uh, he, he does a lot of things, he, but I think he's got some illness or something here lately. I haven't really talked to him a lot myself, so. That's some help in the back background forth. because you guys are like you know the front man, the 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 bibs and the and the, and the I'm the one that need to put the legs in the shorts. <laughs> I'm the one that need to put in the background. Let's put it yeah, that way. Yeah, we'll keep you all up front. It's it's what I love about you guys is that you have fun. You are silly as all out, but you have fun. Hey, Selva, how you doing, sweetie? I but will I will teach good. you, Selva. I promise, I will teach you how to do that. Yes, you guys, Jason out there in the chat room says you guys work well together. You do, because you are, you're like twins separated at birth. It's scary how much fun you have. But, you but you know what? Same kind of forehead going on there. Well, that's good you know, we both get that uh, red hair going with that high hairline. <laughs> Sexy. Sexy. But, but well, you're all redhead, so it's good. Yeah, absolutely. But I, I guess say with, with Jason, it's, it's, with the, with my past and everything, that some things I used to do, I've always had trust issues and stuff, and and that's one thing I could say that with with Jason is it's absolutely positive that I can trust him. Hell, I trust him with my life. I wouldn't even bat an eye to think about it, it and and I don't do that with a lot of people. Absolutely, absolutely, and 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 that's hard because we've had some lot of people that's uh, pulled some things here in the last few years and things. I mean this this project with Paranormal Mysteries it's been a it's been three years in the making. It's a work in progress. So, but it's finally gets the right people together in the right places and it's really come together well. But it's me and Jason's had some ups and downs over the eight years that I've known him, but it's it's been other people that's caused that. When we rely when we learned that we need to quit relying on other people and talk to one another openly, we've never had another problem since. We still have disagreements, don't get me wrong. Sometimes he thinks my ideas are full of crap and they are. <laughs> but doesn't mean they're not good. Well, they're good for me. <laughs> There you go. See, as long as they're good for one person, that's what counts in there. So, but 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 he'll support that, and that's the thing about it. It even it's it's the thing where you the right way to be a friend. I disagree with mm -hmm. you. I think you're wrong. I think you shouldn't do it. I think you're an idiot if you do it. But I've got your back. I'll have your back. Yeah, exactly. They'll have your back if you. I'll have your back. Oh my God! When you fall down, I'll pick you up. You know, I'll probably shake you off and dust you off and go, dummy. But I still pick you up. That's be like I told that you. Kind of relationship you know, <laughs> no, that kind of relationship. It's cool. You guys, like hard. I said, I've known you for what a couple of years, maybe. Yeah, a couple of years now. You've been you've been tortured with me. <coughs> <I'm> stalking you. <laughs> I'm sorry, right. it's the bibs, dude. I can't help They're myself. Right. But it's okay. I have your wife's permission. Like I say, always have. Say, don't I worry. Have the wife's back. permission that I can stalk y'all, so I'm good. I stalk back. I'm not afraid. No, and and you are not my first adorable stalker. I have one that I've known since. Oh my gosh, since I was young and stupid and did a lot of shit, and he knows me well. And he, he last week's show where um, George and you had me blushing talking about me reading uh, stories. Ay, 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 ay. Um, I spoke to my works. friend afterwards. He was killing himself laughing. He says, "You can't do this, man." I said, "So if I send you a." a a sexy message. He says, I'll piss myself laughing. I said, that's not fair. <laughs> but he's known me that's long that enough nice, to, do, to that nice have the ability soft, to do that. <laughs> that. Nice soft voice would be perfect for story reading. <laughs> Especially in <laughs> French. I'm like, oh, yeah. In I feel like, uh, there you go. Well, when go I man. see my guests in the chat room that come from my area that are in French, I do talk to them in French. But some of them, most of them do understand. The ones that kind of go, hey, that's when I'll, you know. But, okay. So, let's see. As or always I always have interesting I make sure I, I do my homework and I find good things oh, wait a minute, I there's try homework. and do I try unlike you guys who have interesting facts which will not happen on this <laughs> there's no because Facebook will definitely delete my ass if I put that shit on here but um, I, try yeah, find good stories. I search through the news and I try uh, try and find good stories interesting stories about what things people do um, in Calgary, uh, I try and do one from the States and one from Canada. I'm, I cross borders. <laughs> Good stories. In Calgary, there was a woman who, uh, her 75th birthday, she got a present, a presence of 
thirteen thousand dollars, thousand three hundred dollars. And for her, it was a lot of money. So she had it in her purse, and she was going to deposit it in the bank. But with everything else that went on, so she got off the bus, the metro, subway, whatever you want to call it, um, she left her purse on the bus. Oh wow! On the, on the subway. And when she got off the bus and on the platform, she looked down and she realized she didn't have her purse. She kind of sort of freaked. She was an Oriental lady, so she didn't speak English that well. She found, luckily, found somebody who spoke English. They called uh, Fireside Chat Reboot. Now, this is, this is getting over the hump. <laughs> getting over the hump. Usually my hump partner is, <laughs> is George, but I'm humping with Jason today. <laughs> oh, wow. Sorry, I'm not with <clears throat> Jay today. I'm sorry, that was wrong. <laughs> okay, we'll have to have Jason on so I can say I did. Um, you have both of us, huh? Yeah, yeah, go on, humping the brothers. <laughs> Hopefully, my children don't listen to this. <laughs> Luckily, well. my husband doesn't, so we're good. But yeah, so she called the, um, they called the, the bus terminal, the, the, said, look, she lost her, her wallet, her purse, and everything. The next day, she got a phone call. They found her purse seems the engineer of the train did his walk through, found the purse and returned it. Inside was her cell phone, her debit cards, her credit cards, everything else, and a wad of cash. And he returned it. And when they called her, she didn't even think about the money. She just, you know, like she didn't say anything. She just said, all my stuff is in there. And when she picked it up, she was shocked and amazed that everything was there. Every cent was there. All of her cards were there. And she's like, there are good people out there. Absolutely. And the next day, she was able to go down to where the, the, the conductor of the, the subway train was. And she said she bought him with her um, in the Asian community for thanking somebody for doing something nice. They bring flowers. That's what the, the article was saying. And she brought him two huge bouquets of flowers. And she hugged him and she wouldn't stop hugging him. And he was like, no, no, it's fine. So it just goes to prove that there are nice people out there. And, you know, I like that. There are. There's very good people out there in the world. And and shows like this is the reason why we were sort of highlighting them because they don't highlight them enough. They really don't. Yeah, exactly. And it, it can be something so simple. Like, you know, returning somebody's purse or wallet in the in the case. You know, and not something that we need to do. Making sure that somebody is you know, you see people on the on the you know, when you're walking down the street, sometimes you can see people have this look on their face like they're lost or they're, something's not. Eh, eh. And most people just walk past them and don't do. I personally be like, what's wrong? Can I help? You know, I do. I go into yeah. mom mode. It's like, okay, what's wrong? You know, like somebody tells me they're not feeling well. It's like, okay, what's wrong? Did you eat? You know, I got a headache. Did you eat? Did you sleep? Did you? I'll run through the whole gamut of things that I do with my children. And then I'll be like, okay, what's the problem? Now? <laughs> you, know? But you know what? My, this is just my opinion. Just, just my opinion. I truly believe that there's more good going on in the world than what there is bad. The problem why we don't well, the problem why we don't realize that is because the good people do it because it's the right thing to do, not mm -hmm. to get attention. So you never hear about it because they don't speak of it. And it doesn't matter what it is, from holding the door to somebody to telling them to have a great day, to return their purse. Those things go on more than anything else, and more than all the bad. We just don't hear about it because it's the right thing to do and people don't think anything about it. Mm -hmm. talk, and the thing it. is, people rather talk about the bad things. Like you look, if you look at the news, this is this is why George suggested we do this. Because if you look at the news, everything they talk about is, you know, the all the bad stuff. Everything because it it's what attracts the the, the viewers. Well, and it also is a control mechanism, in my opinion. If yes. I'm afraid to go outside of my house or go to certain places because they've told me this. Then they keep me within confines of where they want me. I pretty much go to work and home, work and home, work mm -hmm. and home. I don't venture out to see what's really going on in the world. So now you're becoming nothing but a drone. So what do you do? You just go to work and home. You start doing five days a week, six days a week, seven days a week, 10, 12 hours a day. Because you're afraid to go do anything else. Yep. You, it's, it's a control mechanism sometimes. It it's is. Just, a lot of it's just pure propaganda. And like I said earlier, there's, there's good people in the world. The world's full of them, in my opinion. No, it's true. I happen to agree. You know, that it's just, it's just, uh, and I'm going to go with, with Joe Kudo's word. It's just the, <laughs> the goat nuts of the world that seem to get the light shone on them, you know, and hey, Ro, how you doing? Go ahead. And Ro, how are you, sweetie? She's coming Talk on the show too. Talk about good people. Talk mm -hmm. about good people right there. She's one of them. 
this girl needs to make a, a wish list and she won't do it because she's got a wish for for one of one of things and but she finds stuff have you seen the stuff she gets on auctions and my god i love this woman <laughs> that, that's what i'm saying she's she's absolutely uh one of the good ones she doesn't take any credit for it won't take any recognition for it but she doesn't do it for those reasons she does it because she uh, it makes her feel good and it's the right thing to do exactly and and, and uh the location that she has what she does with the location not just not just with the paranormal community but with so many others she's always so giving and and Teresa and i've been she's been such a support for us that i guarantee you that i wouldn't know or be half the place that i am in, in this field if it wasn't for her and her support oh. she brought us to she brought us to an event when we weren't really really getting started just barely doing things in the field and gave us that support and things so it's, it's she just one of those human beings it's the world's a better place because of them yes i agree so are um, you i'm oh i think you um i messaged ro one day and i said because when i was booking for my show and i said <clears throat> i want you on my show she's like what for i said because <laughs> you know she's like yeah but i'm just me i said yeah that's exactly it that's why it doesn't have to be for me having a show gives me the ability to to shine the light on anybody and it doesn't that's matter what? whether you know it's 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 a big name like jay lynch or whether it's it's a little name like Jason Arthur, you know, <laughs> you know I'm gonna chop on his name. Yeah, he can you know, get you back on that one. That's okay. I know he. I, he'll have to wait till the end of the month. Like, nah, nah. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but see, I'm far enough away from you guys that I can do this, shit, and none of you have passports, so I have to worry about you coming up. Oh, you I think can find my little town? Right? Anyway, that, that, so I'm not worried about it. Why do, why do I need a passport? Just so that it can let you back in. <laughs> Why? To the States. Not even. We're all Americans. Oh, yes, but I'm the northern part of the North America. Okay, so. You're you're a North American. You may be in Canada. There you go. So what we need is a North American passport. Yeah, just. Mm -hmm. a, what, all I see is a line on a piece of paper on a map or on a, on a globe. I don't see an actual line there or, or a fence or anything else. Well, I remember when I first met my husband and we went over to the States, we went because he's from Philadelphia and uh, didn't, I didn't need any papers. <laughs> they were like, oh, you? Okay, go ahead. <laughs> now they'll be like, oh, you? Stay over there. You know, but um, um, no, we didn't need any papers, you know, just like, okay, where do you live? They asked questions and I answered and, and when I came back, they went, where are you going? I'm going home. Why are you going home? Because I have to. <laughs> my mom wants home. to be back home. Because it's home. But no, now they, they, they do that. And I don't know why. I don't, I honestly don't care why, you know, I did put I, in I for my passport, but they're like, uh, they were like, that's oh, okay, the, my that's day, the control that's and negativity. That's it. They just kind of, I, I have a feeling people have put my name at the border going, do not let this woman across. Cause I have friends in the UK who say, keep saying, if you come over here, we're putting your name at the border. It's like, oh, sneak in. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to get there. To, um, and we are going to get our passports and come up there. It's it's got to happen because we we need to do some things with Tina because uh, she's done so much with us. We got to return the favor, but uh, it, it's it's such just something I need to do also. There's so much about that. Like I said, it's just it's another extension of our continent. It's not. Yeah, exactly. It's it. Forget the labels. At one point, we were all one giant chunk of, of land, and we just we you know, still are. Stuff happened. No, but I mean the world. As far as I'm concerned, it's not flat. We were just one giant piece of land and something happened we all got separated okay and time the out earth sneezed i've got to re i gotta remind myself this is a show of positivity let's not make fun <laughs> of the flat earth stop it no, okay. but it can't be here's the thing it cannot be flat because if it was for the amount of cats that are on this land we'd be shoving things off the edge <laughs> absolutely rosa said we need to get bodine a passport now i see bodine shouldn't have to have I'll, one i will snuggle bodine up here, not a problem. Bodine mm -hmm. should not have to have a passport. Moose don't have to have a passport. They cross the borders. Elk don't have to have a passport. Geese don't have to have a passport. That's true. It's just That's another true. critter. Why he used to go back and forth every year. That's true. Yeah. He shouldn't have to have a passport. He's a critter. I think, I think there's been American bald eagles up here too. So, they, you know, they're, they're, they're everywhere. There you go. So, yeah, Bodine should part have of a passport. North America. Oh. There you go. <laughs> Uh -huh. I could just I could see the, the the photo shoot of Bodine at the border, especially the Quebec border with the French cops and the French border guards. Oh my God! So that they, there we they go, all bro. Be, a big road trip. Let's do it. They have. They're, they Let's have. all get our passports and do a big road trip. Oh my God! Well, 
you come up to Montreal, I will make my sure I figure out how to get into town. Because I'm not in Montreal. I'm not in a big city. I'm in a nice little town that people kind of know everything about everybody. So it'd be like, I would just meet y'all in Montreal and I'll bring y'all up there. <laughs> you mean in Northern Mayberry? They, pretty much, yeah. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. You know. We know about those. We get those down here too. Oh, <laughs> it's fun. It makes life interesting. Um, we, we were in a town like that before we moved over here and... uh we actually we had to move out of the town we was in before because I don't know, my family's like one of the second founding families of that of that community. And there was probably almost no way in the world my son could date a girl in school and not be like his second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth guy. Like, no, you can't date her. Why? You're related to her too. It's like who am I not related to, Dad? I don't know. Let's just leave. <laughs> next town. Yeah, let's just move out here. There you go. Let's move somewhere else. Well, it's kind of the life. same way up here. If you don't have a car or it, you, to, to survive, for the kids to survive up here. You have to have a car or have family that have a business up here. Otherwise, this town is mostly uh, senior citizens, uh, young couples, um, uh, people on welfare, people with disabilities. So it's all, it's a very, you know, close community. And like for me, my children, uh, my boys did not have driver's license. Um, they worked the little places that they could here, but to get further, they needed to have a driver's license. So they moved to other provinces where they now have excelled. My, my eldest son has made me a grandmother. She's adorable. Don't get me wrong. My grandbaby is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen Absolutely. next to my own children. But, <laughs> but she's part of him, but she, looks, she doesn't look like him. Thank God she looks like her mom. She's adorable. But, you know, but, and she's a girl, so that just gives her more points in my book because you know, it's like painful. I'll be terrible when I'm a grandparent. Let's just be honest about it. Oh, no, you're going to, especially if the first one's a girl, you are going, she's going to have you wrapped around her little finger. Absolutely. That's why I'm going to be terrible. That's good. But that's, but so I'm told, because I haven't been able to do the grandma thing yet. So I'm told that's what the best part about being a grandparent is, is spoiling them, feeding them full of sugar, like Joe Kudo has the sugar thing. And giving them back to their parent and going to say, bye, have a nice day. My dad always said that if he didn't know that having uh, grandkids was going to be so much fun, he'd have had them uh, first. <laughs> I'm like, it's kind of impossible. It's kind of weird to bring up my dad. <laughs> today was his birthday if he'd have been alive. He'd been 80 years old today. Ooh, happy birthday, Pop. So, so it, but yeah, but it's just kind of funny. He always, because my niece and uh, my son were just definitely his favorites, trust me. <laughs> mm hmm. They came to me and my brother. Yeah, they were his favorites. Oh, well. I don't blame him either because I know the things me and my brother did. Uh huh. I've heard stories that you guys did. <clears throat> but again, you were boys. Are still our boys, but uh, uh -huh. but there's there's something interesting coming up that you you're an event that you're doing, and um, I really oh. want to promote this a lot, uh -oh. and I am putting in my two cents. My, I'm going to put in whatever the Canadian, the U.S. funds I can figure out, I can scrape together. Ash Bash. Yes. Now, as much as I love you in your overalls, and I think you are the hottest thing in overalls and you bring sexy back to bibs. Heck yeah, I do. The thought, the thought of seeing you in a pink camo dress well, <clears throat> with combat boots is like, hot damn. <laughs> There's been a little bit of a problem with the pink camouflage dress. Excuse me? Yes. The the uh, pink camouflage dress that's been bought and donated, way too small. Way, way that's too okay. small. We just get you a corset now. Well, but but I have a a nice black gown that I've been given now that uh, will have pink camo highlights and yeah, th those to be the pink camo will be involved, but the dress won't be pink camo because so far we've not been able to find one that will be able to do the job. So I still will be wearing a dress. Get you a corset. We was to, oh, have, have Teresa. No, no, <laughs> no, you could have had a bulldozer pull that thing tight enough to get this thing. I, it was hysterical as we went to put it on, and it was like it, it, it didn't get halfway on, and all of a sudden, you just hear all the scenes. Went, <laughs> I was like, oh, this ain't gonna work. I move yeah, one yeah. time, it's like gone. Oh my god, it's funny as hell. So. But, okay, there, but you're still going to be in a dance in a dress. We were in a dress. It will still involve pink camo. Uh, uh, yeah, I still will be wearing my combat boots. That's without a doubt. Uh, it will start around four forty-five on Saturday. Because okay, it, so tell everybody exactly. Ash Bash is when and where. Ash Bash is the uh, October eleventh, twelfth, and thirteenth at Ashmore 
estates in Ashmore, Illinois. Uh, it is free to the public to get in. The investigation that night, Friday night and Saturday night, there are investigations. There are still tickets available. They will be investigating with all three of the Ghost Brothers if you get your tickets. Ooh, proceeds for this will be going to uh, Los Angeles Foundation. What happened is four years ago, I mouthed off and somebody called me out on it and then we made a bet and I lost and the person was Robin Terry. And for my pri my my punishment for losing was I had to wear a dress for five hours. For every hour I wear it, there's somebody's gonna donate a hundred dollars. Five hours each day? No, no, just the one day, just Saturday. Just gotta do it for one day and that's it. So if I stay in it all five hours, five hundred dollars will be donated to the Lost Limbs Foundation. So of course somebody else started making mouth and off about it and made another challenge and I lost. And they decided that I would have to also do dollar dance. So if you donate a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, twenty dollars, whatever money amount you donate, every bit of it will go to the Lost Limbs Foundation also. But I have to dance to whatever song you want to dance with. So I am going to you we have to figure out uh, where the donations go. Like because for me, I'm not gonna be there. As much as I would no. like to be there, I'm not gonna be there. So there's gotta be like a, a PayPal account because it's Yeah, Robin was Robin will set all that up. And okay. that's all gonna get taken care of. He'll, once we start doing this, it'll get announced uh what how to be able to donate if you can't be there. And and like I said, every single penny donated is going to the Los Angeles Foundation. Yeah. That's without a doubt. Jeffrey Morgan, another good friend of ours and a photographer. <clears throat> Excuse me. He's supposed to be there that day. He's already willing to donate two hundred dollars more cash if I do a photo shoot. Uh, yeah. Well, but James Holsclaw, uh, Wallbatch Paranormal, and David Lowry, the Paranormal High Woman, are also supposed to be in dresses. They voluntarily done this. They didn't lose a bit or anything else. <clears throat> they volunteered to do it to participate in the dollar dance to help raise money for this cause, and uh, so they'll be a part of the uh, photo shoot also if they do it. God rest his soul. Jim Lanford was supposed to be a part of it with me. And uh, so we've got somebody else that said they're going to donate some more in his name. They will match the dollar dance, dollar for dollar, and donate in his name. So well, whoever's doing that, give him a big fat hug for me, please. I sure will. Her. So it's, it's, yeah, they want to remain anonymous. So yeah, that's fine. There's, there's so much more going on with it now that, that, and then of course, with bringing up about Jim, April 18th, we will be doing an event. We're in the planning stages of it now, but it will be a uh, suicide prevention event. And mm -hmm. there will be several people that we, besides Jim, that we're going to honor that we've lost within this field. That, uh, yeah, it's, it's just time to it's time to stand up and say something about it. And we're going to. We're, yeah. But we're going to do it our way through the community and, and make us all become more aware and more part of things. Yeah, and, and I will promote the heck out of that because I love Jim dearly. Even though I only knew him for a short, <clears throat> short period of time. He just he just squirmed his little way into my heart and is, he's stuck there and I just I can't get him out. That's why he's on my my profile um, thingamajig I've, on Facebook. I've known him for well, it was almost nine years. The whole time we've been involved in paranormal, yeah. I've known him and stuff. So it's we had a lot of history together, a lot of investigating, a lot of different things and stuff. So, but I had him on my yeah. show. Yeah, yeah, I, I I listened and I shared. Pretty. That's why I have to kick your ass. Ooh. <laughs> Don't make me call Bodine out. Okay. <clears throat> That's what I should do. Is one time I should have Bodine as a co-host. Yeah, he's show. gonna be real fun to have as co-host. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wave and make noises. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. That's fine. It just might upset a few people if they hear too many noises. <laughs> Depends on what Bali sides. Oh, forget it. That's like that. <laughs> be nice. There you go. Behave yourself. Okay. That's a good show tonight. It's not my show. That's fine. That's fine. I don't mind. It's and then you got mine and Joe and Jason's yes, Joe. Good. That's the fun one. Who? Well, uh, Tuesday nights with Joe and Jason. Oh, that's Spring good. Spot. If anybody does, okay, everybody, first off, you got to have a sense of humor, okay? And and it's, it's I call it the boys show because it's three boys. It's a triple J. J, Jason, and Joe. Um, they have uh, interesting topics. They each have. <laughs> To come up with an interesting topic, and I have told some people about the topics, and they go, uh -uh. I mean, do a Google search, just yeah, you know. And there's one thing that I will never Google search, and it was something that y'all said, and I was told, uh, you know, two things, better not yeah, yeah, there's yeah. two things we talked about that you don't, there's only one that I, I don't know what the other thing is, something you don't and, do it, but yeah, I. I'm gonna. <clears throat> Y'all told me not to, so I was like, okay, fine. I thought I blushed before. Something tells me I'd be like, either mm, use yeah. a cookie bucket. 
but but you know what? Uh, that's but it's that's fun, and that's the whole thing. the The point of your show is to have a good time, and you you guys pick on each other, and, and you have a good time, and y'all know. My God, last night's show was hysterical. Uh, seriously, I was pissing myself laughing. I, I had to. <laughs> y'all, I'm sorry, but I love it when because it's it's food. I won't eat it. Some of the food oh. that y'all talked about. I won't eat it. But the, just saying the word. I mean, wait, is Jason still in the chat room? You say the word mayonnaise and his boy goes. <laughs> it's the thought of having to eat it that really gets him. Uh, it's, it's, it's absolutely. We wanted to bring some positivity like you guys, but in our way, of course. Yeah. And, and the fun facts, the facts are exactly what they are. They are facts. And it's just the most bizarre oh. fact we can possibly find. They are true facts. We we research and make sure that we're not just coming off the wall with some Facebook post that's eighty percent wrong. We we make sure that it's a fact that we can that we can put out there. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> it's a place where you can actually go and sound off. But understand, you have to be an adult about it. We're going to use some humor with it, but you also have to be an adult about it. We can agree to disagree. We can disagree with integrity, honor, or in respect and dignity towards the other person. Oh yeah, I can remember like, one yeah. show you guys had. Um, it was a discussion on guns. Yeah. You know, and I had a couple of questions and I didn't, I think that's when I really started to get to know Jim because later in the next, next couple of days, I had more questions. I said, can I ask some questions? And yeah. it was something about the gun, the gun violence and owning guns and yada, yada, yada. And in the chat room, people had disagreements as to their, their opinions didn't mesh with everybody else's opinions. But if you watch the chat room, which I do because I'm in there, nobody went all, Wah. you know, yeah. you stated I've been your opinion. Yeah, you, you yes. stated your opinion and you just let it go with that because everybody's entitled to their opinion. You know, it's like, it's, to me, it's like coffee. Everybody takes it differently, but everybody drinks coffee. Well, except for you. <laughs> I don't drink coffee. You don't drink coffee. No coffee, no, no coconut, no. <laughs> no, I drink no. coconut either. <laughs> I know that. I don't see that. Do tea. I don't do tea. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, everybody can agree. To, if everybody could agree to disagree, that would be fine. I've done that before. I had um, what I do in life is I'm a cashier and I see people left and right. Uh, there is a, a reverend, I'm not sure exactly, it's Christian faith. And when he discovered out who Mama D was, He's like, oh, my God. And he started to go on about my beliefs. And, and I said, look, here's the deal. You will never believe what I believe. And I will never fully believe what you believe. I, have, I understand what you believe. And I allow you the ability to believe what you want to believe because I can't change your mind. And you will not change my mind. And if you want to keep this as, as a cordial friendship, which because you're, you're not even job, but because he's a pastor, because he's a, he's a reverend. I call him reverend. Um, you need, you know, you'll listen to pe people's opinions. I said, so here's the thing. We're going to agree to disagree and we're never going to discuss me and my angels. And you're never going to try and sell me on somebody being my Lord and savior. And nah, nah, nah. I said, because my Lord and savior is at home. <laughs> no, he's my savior, but not my Lord. But you know, and so he comes in and we have a good time. We laugh. I pick on him about eating two dozen donuts while his wife can't see and then goes <laughs> running home so he can just get skinny again. But it's, it's as simple as that. In life today, everybody's entitled to their opinion. You are entitled not to agree with what they have to say, but to listen to what they have to say. You know? And, and that's... <clears throat> that's the good thing about it is, is that right there what you said that's the biggest thing about it right there is is understanding completely what they feel and what they believe in you, you and and you said that at the very beginning i understand what your beliefs are and i i i've read up on it and i i understand it and i've done research i still disagree with it mm -hmm. not that i disagree with you i disagree with that belief and this and that's that's a good thing and, and that's what we say with our with starting the pot even though we have a lot of comedy to it we pick on each other a lot we want people to be educated with you disagree if, if you disagree with me that's great but make sure you know exactly what I'm what I'm saying and how I'm saying it, and why I'm saying it. Then you, then you're disagreeing with with an intelligent response, not just because I said so. Because, yeah. like, yeah, and, and the, and the gun is not yet. Why? Because I said, because so. I said so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But the gun issue that night was one that we I had to talk about because 
that very weekend they had the yep. shooting here in Dayton, Ohio, which is just 20 minutes up the road from me, mm -hmm. and the shooting in El Paso. And about three years before that, my son was his school had a school shooting, and he was close by when that all happened. He got out, luckily he got out and get to get harmed. But and I'm still a gavin gun owner. I still own guns. I still believe that people have the right to own guns, no matter what. I just you can't demonize the things. There, if, if you actually look at the statistics, there's more people killed in automobiles. We're not trying to kill. We're not trying to ban those. There's more people ran over by automobiles. We're not yeah. trying to ban those. There's more people that die from cigarettes and stuff like that. The cancers, the side effects of cigarettes. We're not banning those. So it's it's a matter of not picking and choosing what you demonize. Let's look at the bigger picture of actually what the problem is and quit looking at. It's like putting a bandaid on a tourniquet. You're not going to solve the problem that yeah. way. Yeah. It's a, it's a people issue, and we need to solve the people issue. Yeah, and that and that covers and that covers a lot of different things. It's not you know, it's like up here. I don't know about the states. I know there's certain states, that, but up here uh, they've uh, outlawed. Nice way of putting it. Um, pit bulls because they're the most vicious dogs in the world. Uh, hello, have you met a nasty chihuahua lately? You know, I had, I, I, um, my son, um, I must use his name, my son Quentin, when uh, he was six years old, he wanted a puppy. So we, we messed with him and could not, when I can't get a puppy. But after Christmas, uh, we had a friend who had, their dog had puppies, and we got one of the, the babies. And we put it on the back porch in, in, in the summer cup kitchen. So with blankets and everything else. And we told him to go put the trash in. Go put the damn trash out. And he had to go. And all of a sudden he saw this box. And he was like. Because it moved. And he was scared of shit. But he sat there for 20 minutes with this puppy on his lap. Um, the dog when my husband would sit in, the, in like a. It's an armchair. The dog would crawl up his lap. And just park his little self on the chest. Park herself on his chest. That's when awesome. Mika became a full-grown pity, okay, she was pit bull boxer miss, but she looked like a pity. When she became full-grown, she still tried to crawl up on his lap and sit on his chest. It's like a freaking horse on your chest. It doesn't work. It's not the breed of, it's not the animal, it's not the breed of dog. It's the person who raised them. Absolutely. You know? and it's not the type of gun. I have issues because I, I'm not sure on certain guns, but... It's not the gun itself. It's the people who control. Who it, it really doesn't matter the gun what in their hand. So it doesn't cool. matter on whether it's it's a gun, a dog, a car, um, a big. Uh, it, it doesn't it's, matter. It's it just depends on who it is behind it. Absolutely, and and the reasoning behind that. Uh, yeah. The problem with it is nowadays in this world, uh, we've we've done away with with institutions and stuff where we can put people. Uh, that have uh, mental issues and things like that that have nowhere else to go so they leave them out on the streets so they 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 get off their medications and they do things that they shouldn't and end up getting arrested and instead of putting them in facilities where they can get help they now get into the judicial system which is the absolute worst system they could possibly be in yeah so they're not really have they're not really a criminal they have they're having uh, uh psychotic uh side effects whatever and and breakdowns and stuff like that and they're being arrested and put inside the judiciary system where they're definitely not going to get any help because it doesn't help the people that's there now. Mm -hmm. So there, there's a whole process to it that we're not looking at. Yeah. And, and all the anger and hostility, it's being, it's being uh, perpetuated by the media system. And it's just, we're the course of the problem. Agreed, Samantha. We'll punish the deed, not the breed. It's the owners, exactly. Exactly. And it goes for everything. Well, it's like, um, well, you're not as old as I am. So I remember back when government uh, pictures were the bad animals, excuse remember? Excuse me. How old are you, child? My my father taught me a long time ago. You never discuss a woman's age, and I'm I, damn sure I have, I'm doing it on there. I have no doubt. I have no qualms. I'm 57. I'm going to be 58 in November. See, we're close. And and you're still a baby, trust me. And and I'm over 50. I'm 51, but you know. There you go. You still. So I'm not. I'm, but I'm saying you remember back when when I was younger. I remember when we were there for a long time that you never heard about pit bulls. In fact. Nope. It's a pit bull that was one of the Little Rascals dogs. It was a pit bull that was on the, mm -hmm. the RCA radio, uh, record player. Logo. It wasn't they, a pit bull, but it was a, uh, it was a bull breed. It was, yeah. a type, it was a type of terrier. Yeah. And one of the pit bulls, a type of terrier. But, you know, there, there, there was all these dogs that was out there. I know. German Shepherds were the hated dogs there for a while. And we had Dobermans. And we had Doberman and we had, yep. they, Oh, you can't trust a Doberman Pinscher. Blah, blah, blah. They go uh, through a cycle okay. and they pick a dog every so often. And then this, mm -hmm. next thing you know, it kind of gets quiet. So it just depends on who's breeding what and what they right. can inbreed and whatever. And now pinchers, right. I have I have issues with pinchers because when I was a child, um, my neighbors down the street had two Dobermans and a Chihuahua. 
I don't remember what the Doberman's names were, but the Chihuahua was Killer. Killer wasn't eating, so they couldn't keep him. He was getting sick and whatever. So I kept him. Killer would lay on my pillow at night, and my mother would come in, like all moms do, come in to check on your children to make sure you're asleep. And Killer would growl until my mother go, it's okay, Killer, it's his mama. <laughs> and so then the dog would be crying. But it's like, dee -dee 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 -dee, you know? And trust me, when Killer got angry, you did. So I mean, I'd be more afraid of a chihuahua, you know? We won't talk I've about been, shit, because Onyx will get excited here. I've been bitten by more small dogs than I have big dogs. Let's put it yeah. that way. Well, because and, people and, and, think it's cute when your dog, when your small dog barks and chases people. It is not cute. I don't, and every dog that's ever bit me, I bit back. Onyx, don't ever go near Jay. <laughs> but they never bit anyone else after that. That's true. That's true. They did. Like the dog would be like, "Oh my God, you're gonna get bite yeah. back." Nah. And my, my uncle had a beagle that was bad for sneaking up behind you, biting the heels, and I got it, and I bit it between the ears. Oh. <laughs> I bit another dog's leg. For <laughs> they didn't bite anybody else. They, like, I won that habit. Rowana says she was attacked by a blue tick hound. Almost yep. ripped my face off. Ow. Yeah, blue ticks can be vicious. They're, but they're 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 bred to get hunt big like it's it's a coon dog. They use the hunt raccoons and stuff, so you know it's it's a bigger it's like a big beagle, some of them do. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. But they're they're a hunting dog. They're they're made to, to hunt. So they're mm -hmm. made to attack animals and things. So they have powerful bites and things. This it's it's it's, it's <laughs> It's not the breed, like like she said there. Punch the deed, not the breed. It's not exactly. the breed. It's how it's how it's raised. It's how it's taught. It's how it's handled. Doesn't matter what kind of dog it is. Sometimes with people, it's the same way too. We won't say anything about the breeding. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, that's my mom's maiden name. Stop it. What is breeding? Breeding. Okay. I have a great aunt. Well, God rest her soul. She passed away. Her first name was Welcome. Last name Breed. I kid you not. Welcome Breed. I swear that was her name. And and it was a local, you know, back in the 70s and 80s, they always had the little local town. Every little local town had a weather mm -hmm. spotter. And they always say, well, the weather in such and such town is reported by. So all the time when they got to the little town that she lived in, they would say, welcome breeding. And of course, they got all kinds of mail there for a while. The news, they said they were just making this person up. And she actually had to go on the broadcast one time to show that she was a real person. Mm -hmm. Welcome breeding. That was her name, I swear. That's a pretty name, though. Welcome. You can't make that up. Yeah, but the last name breeding? Uh, well, that had to be a rough grown up with. Oh, there's some there's some doozy names. Um there was a there was um my husband was watching something on TV and all of a sudden I heard him bust a gut laughing and I was like, What's funny? Because it was a news show, right? And it's like Ugh. and sorry, but the last the guy's last name was Condom. You gotta have fun with it. You do. Oh yeah, you gotta have fun with that. Well, see, I'm I'm pretty okay. I do have an issue. Some people do have an issue. My last name is Hill. So when everybody used to say, "Oh, let's run for the hills," it, stay away from me. <laughs> you know, just stay the fuck away. Come, come near me, and I'll knock the hills off of you. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Why do you think I feel the last name like Lynch? Anyway. I don't know which side oh, of the road my family was on. <laughs> <laughs> One side's good, one side's bad. Which one? Pick one. Go. Well, see, you Actually, just started to type it. No one. That, that would be Jason's thing. Uh, With the cops. <laughs> all right. But I always make fun of it. It had to be the bad side because uh, Thomas Lynch Jr. signed the Declaration of Independence. So my family's well, part of the original outlaws of this country. I know. That's what's wrong with you. You're an outlaw, a descendant of an outlaw. Very good. We're the first outlaws of this nation, the first renegades, rebels, and rogues. You're still a rebel. Still a rebel. Now nah, I'm quiet and shy now. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm supposed to be a funny show, but I didn't feel it was going to be that funny. Uh, uh, you quiet, shy? Yes. Thanks. I, yes. When? When? You're asleep? No. Trisha says I talk if I sleep. There you go. So see. No I'm going to go stay, I'm gonna go stay <laughs> at somebody else's house and see if that's true or she's just lying to me. Well, Ro can, can teach you how to set up a motion sensor camera. And I believe Jason and all the rest of the guys of, of the Paranormal Mysteries can help you. 
set up a motion sensor <coughs> camera that's focused on your side of the bed. Well, here I was hoping I was going to get a sleepover at a friend's house and you turn around and want to put a camera on me. Well, you, you know, we could put it on that. What is it? What is that channel you guys always talking about, Pornhub? Oh, no, no, no. LAP Productions <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> oh, Rose got a bed at, at 101. I'll just have a sleepover at the 101, see what happens. I'll spend the night there. Yeah, and there, see. there are people. I like the idea of people can, you know, big, tough guys that can. Nothing could scare them, but they won't sleep over it overnight at the 101. That's I think that's adorable. I have. I will. I'll do it. Oh, I didn't say it was you. <laughs> that's you the bad part. Yes, yeah, I'll sleep but, anywhere. No, I don't some care. some people will say no. I'll spend a night there, and 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 you go the next morning. They're not inside. They're sleeping in the car. Yep, I've seen that happen more than, more locations than I care to count. Well, I th I am looking forward to the day that I get down. Uh, there's so many places I want to go visit, but I think. I want to go visit 101 because I think Ro, and, and I'm not going to talk too much about it. Well, she's on my show next year, so I'll be able to. I think Ro, and she purchased, because I got to know her because I asked her to be on my show, and we just sort of clicked, and, and I wanted, she's never had a bio, and I said, okay, can I do it? And she said, yeah, and I got to know who she was and why she did things, and I don't believe that she chose 101. <laughs> I believe 101 chose her because she is an amazing person who is refurbishing, rebuilding, and caring for everyone alive, excuse me, alive and not in that building. Anybody who comes into that building, you guys have, have never said a bad word about Ro. Everybody I've ever seen who's done a, 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 an investigation or a live from there is nothing but it's like positive for, for 101. And that just goes to show the person who is, as I call her, the guardian of it, the person who's the guardian of it has treated it so well that everything else, everything works smoothly. Is there that's bumps and whatever in the night? Damn straight, but that's part of it. That's part of its charm. I'm going to try to say this in the most nice, politest way possible. This is a show about positivity. If somebody was to ever say something bad about Row around me, I'm positive I'll whip their ass. You are positive. <laughs> help you with that. I'm positive somebody's gonna have a bad day. You will positively. <laughs> Let's see, Rose says when we have quiet in isolation, we all knew something was wrong. Yes, I think that was the first time I saw you live was on the isolation uh, 101. There were <sighs> words written on the chalkboard. Oh, that one. Yeah, that, that she's talking about the one where I did on the second floor where I got kind of. I said I got kind of dropped yes, down. Yeah, the, I still want right to know where they had that damn tape went to. I don't know. It disappeared. I must have hit end and delete instead of finish and post. Cause it was it was I, wild. I, it was it was it was different. But there's no proof that I did all these things. Besides, you know, everybody's gonna believe you guys, and not me, because I'm gonna say, ah, that didn't happen. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. You knew it happened Something because happened. because Jason called to in, uh, called T yeah, Teresa. Yeah, he called in. He but called Teresa in was already up there, and we're everybody else is sitting on our on our things going. What the hell's wrong with <laughs> he, he broke into my live feed and, and I'm glad he did. And yes. I broke whatever concentrate was going on there. Uh, but the time he could get off the phone with, with, with that and get called Teresa and they was already up the stairs. I'm like, we're right here. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Mike Rose said something they knew something was wrong when I got quiet. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's like, okay, what's wrong? Jay, Jay's not talking. Where's the you know, it's like too quiet. Okay, he's left the building. Okay, got it. <laughs> yeah. I tried to when I asked it to push me out the window. Trace liked the crap on that one. <laughs> Your wife has got the patience of a goddess. There are so, uh, they, I, I'm meeting people whose wives are freaking amazing. Um, Teresa, awesome because she puts up with you. Uh, she got Tara, humor. Wife, she puts another humor. one. Um, I don't know Jason's wife, but she's she's got to have the patience. Tanya. Tanya, uh, she's got to, I mean, I see what you guys are like, so I could just imagine, oh, God help us. I could just imagine what you guys are at home like without the cameras on you. <sighs> Lordy. Special bunch of boys. We're fun. Yeah, yeah that's for sure. <laughs> but the thing is, everything you do, even if, you're, even if you're crazy and mouthy and whatever, you do it with a good heart. And that's Absolutely. what I like about you guys. Uh, we get a little protective. <laughs> Can you tell? Yeah. I'll know, pop with their head. They say something bad about it in front of me. <laughs> but it's okay. Uh, 
It's, it's okay. not a bad thing. It's not. It's part of it's part of you, no matter who you are or who the other person is, is your protective big brother stance. You know, even oh, if you're younger okay. than some, you have that moment. <laughs> Gotta behave yourself once in a while. No, I don't have to behave myself. There's a popular let me, misconception. Let me, let me call Teresa. <laughs> I, here, let's get her in here. Teresa. <laughs> no, I don't have to behave myself. Why can't you know, there's a time and a place to be an adult and all that fun stuff. I get that. But never leave, lose that childish heart. I, I want to make Peter Pan look old. I want to make him look at him and go, dang, he's a young fart. <laughs> oh, yeah. But the thing is, you have to look at the good side. You have to enjoy life. It's like the, the woman I work with, we have worked together for 16 years. Wow. And we've both been there. It's just one month's difference as to... The, I did my job interview with when they were still building the place. The reason I got my job there was because I spoke English and the company that was coming in was uh, Mr. Subs, which is uh, an English company. It was coming from Ontario, so they had no French. So I was, I, I was brought in to translate. So yay, now they haven't been able to get rid of me 16 years. Well, now they did because I did the splits. But... <laughs> That's but, not good, man. But um, the woman and I... and. I say we're like a married couple. We've been together 16 years and it's just, it works. We work. She's bored silly since I haven't been on my job. She's bored silly because we'll call each other names. It's like you and Jason and Joe, you call each other names, but it's, it's done with love. Um, she flips me the bird as often as she can. I spent the afternoon there with her today. I did a Facebook live, which George didn't get to see because I put sprinkled donuts on there, but um, I did a Facebook live. He'll be there. He'll be home in a half an hour or so. <laughs> I'll check it out and go, oh, shit. But um, we, it's just, you, I, I enjoy making sure that everybody has a good time. You Absolutely. Know? And the thing is, you do the same thing. And nobody can, okay, I think I've seen you really upset, and I was putting it nicely once. You just kind of like, but even when you're angry, like your PSAs, your public service announcements, I love them because you come on and I'm mad and I'm pissed by the end of it. You're pissing yourself laughing and you're making everybody else laugh because you you take something that's frustrating you and you bring the light to it. You bring the laughter to it. But that's what <laughs> I, I got to laugh. I, I, I'm, I'm one of those people that get in trouble at funerals because, I mean, they're like, hey, man, I know you got some good stories about this person that, we, that you guys done together. Come on. I'm like, dude, don't I even get the chance to grieve? I, I don't I get a more little bit here? No. Mm -hmm. Don't make us laugh. Let's just give it up. Yeah. Dude, I'm not I'm mm -hmm. not the class. Believe it or not, I was not the class clown. There's people in my class that's a lot funnier than I am. <laughs> but you don't have to fake it. You are naturally funny. That's because I got this face. It just kind of wakes up and goes, ooh. So <laughs> I'm I'm biased. It's so cute. Uh, you got to wake up in the morning, look at the mirror, and see this. You start laughing off. Okay, no, that's oh. okay. I see my face in the morning. That's bad enough. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay. Listen but, to you. Uh, I don't want to hear that. Well, if you can, if you can talk bad about your face in the morning, I can talk bad about my face in the morning. Yeah. It's full of double standards in society. <laughs> it's mucky. It's not do as I say. You, okay, here's the thing. We both look butt ugly in the morning, but we still love each other. How's that? Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Wait a second. Wait a you see up. my new headphones? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I had a lovely white set and I ordered a new set and they sent me the black ones, which I wasn't too keen on. But it's got this tiny little, hold on a second, tiny little microphone right there. Okay. But when I got it, it was in. And then I got a machine, uh, uh, an email saying, How do you like it with the retractable microphone? I went, Damn. <laughs> Oops. I was like, oh, okay. Now I know how my sound is good. <laughs> you get that nice little mic. I got this big thing. <clears throat> I want one, but I just, uh, this is, see, this is technically, this is my office. So I have to make it's an smart. office just for my shows. Hey, Candace. Uh, I've got to make an office just for my shows. But this is where I'm comfortable at. So when I, no, don't behave. Don't bite it. Don't bite it. <laughs> you know, I have to make it just for, where I have my clients because this is a great place. The energy in this room is awesome. Uh, well, that's because when I, yeah, but when I did the painting, I did my Reiki symbols on the wall. 
is in the same color paint as the thing, so nobody can see it, but I know that they're there. This wall behind you is behind me, whatever, behind you, behind you back, is got like all my all my powerful Reiki symbols into the wall because this was the wall that my, my Reiki bed will go on to. So now awesome. it's my desk is there. So, But it's still, the energy is still in the room. The butterflies Absolutely. are everywhere, you know. I am. I work with the butterflies, so that's you know they're around. The butterflies just make it official. Yes, you should see. You should Makes it official, see, Mama D. Man. Oh yeah, God. And my daughter always finds me new butterfly stickers and and wall thingy majiggies, and I've got one, two, three, four, five different uh, what are they called? wind chimes, and they all have butterflies on. Everybody knows they're getting butterflies. Just, so, and, you don't have any spirits there then. I do. With wind I, 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 I got a, I got a bottle of Southern Comfort. Oh, <laughs> <that's kind> of... <laughs> yes, I do. That's, I have I have children. Mm, I have children. Seriously, it's not because one of the beliefs about wind chimes is that they were people put them out in front of their houses and stuff because it was to keep people's spirits away. That's why you actually find some houses nope. that have one on every corner of the house. That way, it had, or actually every face of the house, right in the middle, so that way it would keep cover that entire side of the house. And if you have one around the house, it's supposed to keep those. It keep. Not just evil spirits, keep spirits away, period. But see, my belief on that, I've never heard that. For me, wind chime is music, which attracts them. See, I always, <clears throat> I always use them as a tool because if you're in a completely uh, wind free, no, no kind of breeze, anything like that, room and stuff, and if you can get them, it's an easy manipulation mm -hmm. to make inter that first initial contact. Oh yeah. yeah. No breeze blowing, no wind whatsoever. You're in a sealed room, door shut, windows all shut, and stuff. Now that wind chime, if they can make that chime, because that's an easy something easy to manipulate. It doesn't take that much energy that way. It's get, no, it doesn't. Get the initiation of a conversation started. That make it may make me aware of your presence by chime. I then, never thought about that. I think I'm gonna have to make, turn my wind chimes loose. So it's one, two, <clears> there's three, four, <laughs> five. Okay, five. <laughs> I may have madness, but there's a method to my madness. I like your madness. I'm good with it. <laughs> Everything has the potential to be something to interact with. Everything. Candace, I'm in the process of my Reiki symbols. Oh yeah. It it's an amazing it's an amazing foundation. For me, Reiki is an amazing foundation. When my Reiki master uh, graced me with, with, with my attunements, um, it was it was a foundation that I just built on. And the thing is what you don't realize as a, as a Reiki practitioner, as a, as a healer of some kind, you've done this many times before. You just don't have a name for it. Like, example, when I was in high school, I was a cheerleader on the boys' basketball team. I did some cheerleaders. Yeah, yeah, go. Now you know what you're in trouble for. <laughs> and one of the things was when the guys would injure themselves, simple, like twisted muscles, pulled leg, you know, whatever, I would massage. Now... A lot of people would get uh, uh, interesting thoughts going along with there, but there was nothing. But I could tell you for every massage that I gave, the guys would get back right back up and get back on the thing. And my Reiki master said, that's because then you were doing healing. You just didn't know what it was. And it's just, you know, I'm not trained masseuse. <laughs> I'm trained in other things. But not masseuse. <laughs> that's right. Keep it quiet. But I said, yeah, see? But, you know. <clears throat> the thing is, a, a, a healer, even if they're a Reiki master a, a, or a fire puller, different, they have different names for it. When we train for something, there is a foundation of you healing before you knew what you were doing. I agree with that a thousand percent. It was, uh, but it's, that's people who have it as, to me, as an innate gift. Mm -hmm. There's, There's... It's like playing music. If you have people that can just pick up an instrument and start playing it, then you have people that who have to be trained. And they're very, very good at the ones that's been trained. Mm -hmm. But it's just not the same as a person who just does it naturally. And it doesn't matter what it is, whether yeah. it be healing or musician or athletics. It doesn't matter. Artist, I, I don't care. The person who has an absolutely innate gift for it seems to do it so fluently and so flawlessly, while the other person kind of puts, has to put more focus and concentration into it. Yeah. You know what I mean? It is, yeah. It, oh, yeah. No, I understand. It's natural. It's yeah, natural because there are it. people, like, example, me. I, I, I'm I, not artistic in any way. Like, my hands, I can't even draw a straight line with a ruler. 
in, in drafting school in, in high school, I couldn't draw a straight line with a T-square. My, my teacher used to think that was really funny. I was like, ah, I don't know. But I, can, I see beauty. I see things that other people don't see. And I see in clouds. And there was a picture uh, once on, on, was it on Facebook. Yeah, it was on Facebook. It was clouds at night with lightning. But what I saw was a woman's face whispering into a man's ear. Into the ER to get it out. Well, so long as it wasn't the spider that we showed Joe Kudo. <laughs> yeah, it went, yeah. He's still mad at me for that one. Not that mad, mad. So but, cute. Know. Yeah, yeah. They keep trying to find something to get even with me on because nothing like that bothers me. I think they did in Spam. Well, that, I, but see, I, I was around Spam and Treat when I was growing up, and I will eat it. I just don't like it. Yeah. Like anything else. I'll, oh, I'm sure they'll find something. I'm a fat man for a reason. I'll eat it if I have to. I don't like it, but I'll still eat it. There you go. I got to survive. I got to keep yeah. this thing going. Mm. Hey, Brooke. Hello, Taylor Brooke. That's my cousin, believe it or not. That's your cousin? Yeah. I need to dirt child. on him before he comes on my show on the 20th. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get the good uh, stuff. Uh, there's all kinds of good stuff on me. I know. And the thing is, you're so obvious about it. You know, Why? Like, you Why don't not? have shit. You don't have no. to just be like, this is who I am. Love me? Don't love me? Not my problem. I've, I've always I've always been that way. I throw my cards on the table. Here's And, and it gets me mad. And Tracy used to get messed mad at me because I look at people and I'm like, look, this is what I'm going to do. Like, well, you can't do that. I'm like, no. This is what I'm going to do and this mm -hmm. is how I'm going to do it and you can't stop me. Watch me. <laughs> I'll can't. sit back and I'll sell tickets. Yeah, I just, Jay's going to to a pole it, dance. <laughs> it, I, I throw my cards <laughs> on the table. I, I don't hide it. I don't lie about it. I don't pull no punches. I say what I got to say about things. And I take the mm -hmm. consequences of it. To me, life's pretty simple. Oh, yeah. Extremely. If, yeah, if you, you only make it difficult if you don't. It's like somebody said, are you for real? Are you telling me the truth? And I always say, time is a commodity I cannot get back. So I am not going to waste it. If I yeah. tell you something, it's because I believe it 100%. That's the truth. If I don't know, I'm going to say, um, I have no idea. Go ask Jay. You know? Because <laughs> if I don't know it, I will find somebody who will give you an answer to what you're Absolutely. Asking. I'm not going to give you just an answer, but give you an answer. I'm going to find I'm gonna find someone that's got the right answer. And, Brooke, I'm, I'm glad you enjoyed watching me. But do me a favor. If Mama D contacts you about getting some dirt on me from when we was kids, d don't. Say yes. Don't. Say yes. Say yes. Oh, hell, I don't care. I'll pay her. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got to pay her. Trust me. Her and her, her, and her brother. Oh, my God. She'll send, y'all got to sit down and write a book. <laughs> no. Yes. <laughs> no. The, the episode, what... <laughs> Life and Times of Jay Lynch. Some of the things I've done, I don't know if there's a statute of limitations on. No. <laughs> I'm so summed I'm not you, plumbed. You come, up, you come up to Canada and they can't get you up here. <laughs> no, no, I'm summed I'm not plumbed. I'm not telling them myself if I don't have to. She, if said, yes. me, she said yes, that they're going to write a book. There you go. No. No, no, it's, it's like think. it's because one day you're not going to be here. You're not going to be able to tell all these stories. So you're going to have sure. to keep it for your great grandchildren. No. <laughs> be like, my grandfather, my great grandfather did what? Do you know he was with, part of a what? With all the things that I have done since I've gotten over the last eight or nine years, it's all involved with being either on podcast or filming projects. Mm -hmm. There's enough evidence out there from that stage. <laughs> on. What happened before that? They don't need to know. Don't need that's the fun. Oh, like I say, who you were before, like who I was before 2012 was when Mama D came, became Mama D. Okay. Before that, as a teenager, you and I probably would have got along real well as a teenager from the little tidbits that you, you've talked about as your child, as your younger years, you and I would have got along real well. I am not the epitome of my mom and dad. I tell people all the time, do yeah, not. No, neither, neither am I. Trust not how they raised me. They raised me to be a good, quiet little Southern <laughs> Baptist. That's not what I am. Thank this you. <laughs> is me. I made me this way. My choices, my decisions, don't blame this on them. Sweetest people you ever want to meet, even when they was whipping mm -hmm. behind. And oh, I mean, yeah. they busted my butt on a daily basis. <laughs> I deserved it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> so don't blame this, them. I've been doing Reiki me. since. About eleven oh five. I can't remember. I can't remember. About eleven oh five today. Yeah, you, okay. No, it's nine fifty nine, dude. Shh, give me a break. I don't remember. It. I'd have to look at my my <laughs> my diplomas. <laughs> I, don't 
I get a diploma. Yeah, well, you're supposed to let me have a diploma too, okay? You guys were supposed to. You said you could. I could take the course to be a, a professional, well, you know, certify, certifiable. <laughs> I may. I'm going to find out whether I'm going to get that or not this weekend. Uh, we're supposed to get out and meet up with Jim's family. Jim had actually taken it and made it up to look like an, uh, an official mm -hmm. certificate. And uh, I never received a copy of it. I don't know if there is a copy or not. I hope so. There is. If, if he that'll did, make it even that more special. If he did get a couple printed up, I, I won't be able to take them to the printers and get more made. But the originals I'm definitely going to hold on to. If not, sure. it, it is what it is. So, you, you, know. you, you, will, you will email it to me and I will have it printed on my T-shirts. Because I'll have right. Angel Metals Radio on one side, and I'll have another one with, with my, my, t my diploma on the other side. Yeah. Or diploma to be a paranormal certified paranormal investigator. Yeah, certifiable. <laughs> certifiable, did you say? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And, and and I missed that. I missed those uh, videos. Uh, but those are with Trouble Q Productions, and, and they have all the rights and reserves for them. Because they, they filmed them and they edited them. Even though I was a conceptual idea and acted them, it doesn't mean a thing. I don't have them anymore. I miss them. Aw. You can make uh, better ones. <clears throat> you can't remake that. When we did that whole thing in Jason's garage, being certified and Dr. Scott Tepper, you can't remake that to be the same. No. It's never it going to be the same. It's going to be better. Nah. We just let that one go. We Maybe. <laughs> maybe. I can't see what me and Jason are, are or aren't going to do. You never know what Yeah, God. I can see what you two come up with. I'll see ya. No. And I don't want to know because I just want to be surprised like everybody else. And that's the whole fun part of being a friend of Jay Lynch. You well, don't never know what's coming next. Just imagine being married. Bodie's dropped his new video today. I know. <laughs> I, I shared it. I shared it. I would love to. I'm going to figure out a way. You guys are going to have to let me do that. I'm going to figure out a way to download to it to my computer. So that I can upload it and do a watch party. Because you can't do a watch party with YouTube. There's two more coming. There's already two more boat teams yeah. made up. And they're they're ready. And they're just we want to let this one sit around for a little while, let people get to share it. And but see, we got to do it. To, we got to do it to our YouTube channel. So we get get people to go there and subscribe. I understand that. I understand that. But see, you can the teasers like your your teasers for your for your the 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 shows, right? Paranormal mysteries. The paranormal mystery shows. They're like a minute and a half or something. You need to uh, 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 put the show. It's that teaser on Facebook so that I can make it as a watch party, like um, Jay Smelly Squared, the little with the the, the sausage thing. I up I downloaded that on my computer and I uploaded it and I, I did a, a Facebook watch. <laughs> well, you gotta, just, yeah. just to just to torture the shit out of Jason. <laughs> it was, I had it put on Facebook watch for everybody. And I was like that was I believe that was actually I think that was when um, Jim was with you guys over at Jason's house. Yeah. The thing with the sausage. Yeah, when he uh, Jason did a, a DJ Jazzy Jason and that's it, DJ Jazzy Jason. That's right. <coughs> Jim was out there dancing to like Big Butt, him and a couple others, Heather and yeah, I I, I yeah. believe Jim said that uh, Jason's daughter has a video of him doing that. We need to have yeah that. yeah. Uh, I think Teresa might have a copy of it. I'm not Good. for sure. Got to got to so got to put that out there. That's some of the things we don't want to lose. Uh, we've we've lost too much. Yeah. Over the last few years of what we're doing with the projects and things and stuff. So we make sure that we don't, we have a copy of everything from now on. Good. I want to see I mean, it. We've had to refill. <laughs> we're, we're going back to refill at 101 next year, I think. And it'll be the third time we filmed it. This time we're going to get an episode out of it because for one reason or another, we lost the other ones. People quit this, that, 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 that. We'll make sure we get one this time. Because mm. that, that Well, maybe by then I'll have my passport <laughs> all settled and fixed and, and I'll, and I'll come down. I'll have to drug my husband you. for the weekend, and I dare you. That's not a problem. <laughs> I dare you to come down and visit. I dare that's, you. Oh no, that's I will. That's not, they I don't even have to worry about the daring because here's the thing: just like you, when somebody dares you, you end up doing it. Of course. My my, I learned from my mother, a very an amazing woman. Um, uh, she people would dare her, and they wouldn't expect it because my mom was like super proper this is a girl guide leader and all this stuff but she would do some stupid shit sometimes but and do? and and eventually they one i can remember one time i don't know why this popped into my head um we would camp every summer okay we we lived in a tent we had a a, a wood stove for cooking the best toast you could ever taste was absolutely and 
we had a company up from for the weekend and my mother said coffee tea or coke and he went yes my mother said last time coffee tea or coke he went yes my mother put all three into the cup and gave it to him I would too. it tasted like root beer <laughs> that's weird i know <laughs> i know it's, a, it's a, he said it swore it tasted like root beer i was too young to remember back that the taste of it back then but i remember him saying my god this tastes like root beer that's that's weird yeah. But no, I, I want to, I want to travel down to the States. I'm going to, I'm going to get me a chitty chitty bang bang. I've told my daughter, I'm going to save up my money, buy one of those little camper do car truck things. And, and I'm going to shove my husband into an old folks. <laughs> and I'm going to travel. <clears throat> Listen to you. I'm so sweet, aren't I? Y'all think I'm nice, but I'm mean. I'm well, we, all got, we all got a little bit of an old mean streak to us. There's mm. nothing. Yeah, but my 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 nobody nobody anyway, we won't even go there. But like I said, if, from what I remember of you telling little stories about your, your younger days, you and I would have got along real well. As my my secret question to, to certain things is where are the bodies buried? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Backyard. Why in the world would you bury him? Just take him to a local hog farm. Fertilizer, darling. No, no local no. hog farm. Hog the only wheat. thing they have hogs up here is a slaughterhouse and they're not, they're, they're not eating at that time. Hogs, we eat everything but the teeth. You have to pull those and throw them in the river to wash away. Okay. Not that I would know anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. You know what? We are 13 minutes over, and I have no problem with that. It was fun. I'm, uh, thank you very much for saving my bacon. Here we go. Oh, no again. problem. Oh, thank saving you Saving my Canadian bacon, which is an American myth, by the way. It's just ham. No, it's not. Actually... The Canadian bacon, if you actually look at it, it's not really ham because ham is made from the haunches, and your guys' bacon is actually made from the loin. It's smoked loin. And it's covered with cornmeal. I've done some have, research because I make peanut butter. But it's not, it's not, you can't get it here in, in Canada, in Canada. <laughs> you can't get Canadian bacon. Canada. Yeah. Wow. I can't get Canadian bacon up here. You look at Canadian bacon, people look at you and go, what the hell is that? Bro, I love you too, hon. I really you do. Too, I'll, I'll be back home real soon. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'll be back over real soon. I, I got yeah, I got a plan. Oh, oh. Well, she's a, plan, a she's a wonderful Talk photographer. No, she's got a she is a wonderful photographer, and I've gotten two really nice cameras. So someone's got to teach me how to do something right. <clears throat> uh, uh, oh. <laughs> okay. I love you. Not Thank cares. you, everybody, for, for tuning in. We've had gone from eight to two to three to one. We've had people going and going, oh, my God, it's those two. Let's leave. <laughs> so oh, I see it was this. fun. And this will be saved, and I will upload it onto um, one of my platforms. By the way, thank you very much. You've turned me onto the platform. I have all five different places that play my shit. <laughs> it's awesome, isn't it? It's fun. I think it's cool. It Absolutely. Is, is. Anchor is cool. Anchor is cool. So I thank you very much. Anybody who wants to has a show and wants to get it out there further, go to Anchor FM, sign up with them. The free thing is fabulous. I'm thinking of this thing, this platform that I use here is what's it called? StreamYard. StreamYard. Sorry, I can't read. And it's free. You can you can pay for it. It will take off the little StreamYard, whatchamacallit, the little duck that's somewhere on the screen somewhere. Uh, but free there's so much free stuff out there for us to use and to get have fun with but absolutely but i thank well, you very much it was fun we did this absolutely. Again. Totally maybe next you. time maybe maybe next time george will show up <clears throat> maybe next yeah. time he'll start using his sexy voice mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay i'll make something I, I, and it will be without my can without my face because you guys will have me blushing like crazy i will make some kind of storybook might be dr seuss <laughs> It don't matter what you say. I'm, I'm kind of like I'm kind of like Gomez uh, Adams. If you just start talking to me in French, I'll be like, hey. "You're such a goon." Oh my God, I'm honest about it. I love you. You're such a goon. All right, y'all be good. Y'all behave yourselves. Remember, if you see a butterfly, it is me reminding you to have a good day. And if it's not me, somebody else to tell you they have your back. They're okay, and they are always around, just like Jay Lynch. Round is a shape. Oh, it's a good one. I like that shape. Mm. Thank you, All right. Hey, y'all have a great night. 
Y'all be good. Bye, everybody. Bye, sweetie. Thank you. Yeah.